people want some mimosa? My answer is yes, always. Mimosas are supremely simple, bubbly cocktails made with sparkling wine and orange juice. They're light, fizzy, and easy to sip. So it's only right that they should be featured front and center as part of Sunday's Mother's Day celebration. In fact, we like to call them mommosas. <laughs> and who better to teach us ways to level up that mimosa for mom than Heather Taylor with good spirits, fine wine, and liquor. And you've got a few varieties for us. I do, and I some do. Tips. Now, you just took the, the foil. foil off of this. Yes. And you told me right before we started, there's a really important reason you didn't remove the cage a and everything. A quick sparkling champagne 101. Never take the foil or the cage off of the bottle unless you are intending to pull the cork. Because what happens? Well, unattended, the cork will force its way out of the bottle on its own because of the carbonation. And champagne corks can come out of a champagne bottle at about 80 miles an hour. Okay, so don't do that. Now don't you're going to open it for us and the key is just to kind of go... Basically, I start to twist. I think I start to twist. Oh my gosh. That's a tough one. This is a tough one. So you wiggle it and that's twist. Usually what I do too is kind of go really slowly and I feel like that's the way to do it. If I can get this open, good that lord. That one's there a tough one. Okay. And then that's you hear again. the satisfying. Ready? It's coming. Yes. And that means it's celebration time. It is celebration. It's mamosa time. It's mamosa time. This is actually the way I always celebrate Mother's Day, so I'm super excited. Good. Yeah. Very okay. good. Okay, so the typical mimosa is with orange juice and champagne or sparkling. Okay. Um, and it's always half champagne and half orange juice. Now, I like to do it more like champagne with a splash of orange juice. And you can do that. Okay. <laughs> or you can do all champagne yeah. and just a hint or, you know, a lot of orange juice and just a hint of sparkling. It's up to you, but the tradition is half that way. Half. Okay. And what we typically do is I like to put champagne in the flute first because the heaviness of whatever juice you're going to use is going to mix so then you don't have to worry about stirring your bubbles that makes a lot of sense in this case we're going to do a mixed berry mimosa instead of an orange juice mimosa. i like that have you so. experimented with the weights of different juices and syrups to kind of layer them ever well you know store-bought juice in a container is lightweight yeah um so i have a tendency to make my own you because i own. want it to be thicker and yep. so this is basically a frozen berry mix okay. that we combine with simple syrup um, and you heat it over the stove and simmer and put all the ingredients together and then you blend it. But then the key is putting it through a strainer so you're not getting all those eating chunks. all of the seeds. So it's more of a, of a juice reduction or like a exactly. berry. Oh, okay. Oh, that looks so good. And you can see how the juice actually creates that stirring yeah, it sinks right to the bottom. And it sinks it right up. to the bottom. And makes a super pretty mimosa. That is so pretty. It's very pretty. And then what I like to do is you can take a sheet pan with some wax paper on it, put some mixed berries actually on that, the fresh ones, freeze them. Um, so they're like individual ice cubes, and then you can plop them in the top of the drink, and they look really, really That's pretty. That's perfect, right? Because mm -hmm. then you get the cooling, and it yeah. doesn't water it yeah. down. Because you don't want to water so down your champagne. Okay. You need to try that. Che Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Cheers. Day for the mixed berry. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. It's really good, isn't it? Oh, that's really good. I mm -hmm. like that better than an orange juice. It just adds a fun little twist, and you can do this with mango. You can do it with peaches. That would be a Bellini. Yeah. Oh. But you can experiment with all of that. Bellinis, and we should do that. That would be fun, yeah, wouldn't okay. it? <laughs> and I'm using the Mums Brut from Napa Valley, but I brought some examples of Prosecco is also another great sparkling to use with mimosas. Um, sometimes it's a little less expensive, even though the Mums is under 20 bucks, which yeah. is a great bargain. Um, but the Prosecco is a little bit lighter. It's a little less dry. So depending on what your flavor profile is, um, and it's a great inexpensive way to make I notice that a lot of times it's easier to find a good cheap Prosecco than a good cheap champagne. Absolutely, okay. I would agree. Or a Cava from Spain. All of those sparkling wines. I just have a tendency to not do something like a Moscato because with the juice, yeah, it's, it's going to make it even sweet. sweeter. It gets too sweet. I love so, it. Yeah. Sip, sip, hooray. Sip, sip, hooray. So then you don't always have to use a flute okay. in order to have a mimosa. Right. So this is... A sherbet mimosa. I love that. It's good. This, this is, is all a, the rage right now. Super this is. trendy. Okay. Super super trendy. So what I've done is I've taken some raspberry sherbet and I've done cute little raspberry you, balls. That is really cute. 
Although it was an adventure trying to figure out how I was going to get ice cream to the studio yeah. without having it <laughs> be a disaster. That is the hard part here. So we're mixing raspberry and lime sherbet. And you can use any sherbet. Yeah. Doesn't matter. I just like it because it's a really pretty color and it's going to taste good regardless. This is something I can definitely see like the kids really getting into too yeah. for Mother's Day because they're kind of creating something that's a little more fun than pouring. Well, and the thing that's really nice about this is you leave out all the alcohol and you just pour like a Sprite or a lemon lime kind of a soda over the top of it, even club soda for the adults mm -hmm. for that matter. And you've got a really nice non-alcoholic but fun drink. But don't do that for mine if you're making it for me for Mother's Day. No. I want the champagne. No. Okay. In fact, with this, we're going to make it a little bit boozier. And I'm adding St. Germain, mm -hmm. which is a great foil against any type of sparkling because it's that elderflower liqueur. It's sweet. It's just got a presence that makes it perfect yeah. with, with any kind of sparkling. I love that. So we're going to dabble. So this is the elderflower, the this is the elderflower. Okay. Yep. So we're just going to put a little sploosh. And you can certainly put a lot more depending on what alcohol level you would like to have with your, and we're just going to use this versus the Prosecco since we've already got it open. Yes. And again, tilt the glass and pour slowly. Now when I'm looking for, I'm having a mimosa, since there's other flavors in it, I could probably not be as concerned with having a super high quality, or is this an, like, to go middle of the road with your champagne? You can, or? but I always tell people, even like when they're cooking with the wine and they're drinking, don't yep. put something in a cocktail that you're, you're not, not going to drink, drink all by itself. That's and same advice. with food. You know, don't use that bottle of wine you've had under your kitchen sink for, you know, two weeks to make spaghetti sauce if... Perfect. So, and then this will have to settle just a little bit just because the sherbet's reacting with it. It's so, so pretty. And this is like festive and fun. It's very festive and fun. Now, um, we're going to wait. On we were talking a little, a little bit, bit um, about looking at some of the labels and how I always just like to get the prettiest label, but I'm mm -hmm. never sure if it's good. And the cans, how yeah. perfect are the cans? So if I really don't know what I want, I want to be on the boat drinking bubbly, like no yeah. beer, I want the bubbly. Mm -hmm. If we come in, can you just kind of like guide us to what the good tasting ones are so I don't get fooled? Absolutely. Of the okay. Absolutely. And the reason I brought the can to show is that you know, if you're by yourself and you don't want to buy a full bottle of a Prosecco or a Sparkling, we have half bottle options and we also have the options in the can, which is really kind of fun. So I'm going to top this off just and a little bit And the can's so portable. We were kind of joking um, before we started that, like, well, if you're going to mow the lawn, yep. why not have some bubbly? And I like these tall glasses. And so you can take your little straw oh. and kind of and it's swoosh like it around. a dessert and a... Uh, Drink yeah. on one. So kind of muddle the sherbet just a bit. And then okay. let's cheers. Give it a sip. Cheers. Oh, that's really yeah. good. Thanks for making my mother's day. <laughs> We're gonna start celebrating <laughs> You're now. Right? Two days early. It's We're two days early. Two days start that's on why you're day. just making sure that mm -hmm. I get what I want for Mother's Day, which is mimosas. Yeah. 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 And mimosas are great because you can literally put them in just about any glass and you can make the whole world all pretty again. Yeah. Because they're fun, and this, this is, is going to bubble over a little really bit, good. probably. Oh, but, but it's still pretty. But well, it's pretty. thank you for being here. Thank I, you. I um, seriously made my weekend start right. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Whether you're looking for a great sparkling wine or champagne for mom's mimosas, or need a fine wine for the day, you'll find an excellent selection that's sure to please even the pickiest of palates. And if you're not sure what to get, let Heather and her expert team guide you to a great selection. You'll find them at Good Spirits Fine Wine and Liquor inside Taylor's Pantry at 41st and Minnesota Avenue in Sioux Falls.